Hi there, I'm Gretchen Elizabeth. I'm a patient advocate for Botox injury and I have done this full time for several years. I help to run a support group of over 35,000 people who have experienced life-threatening or debilitating systemic toxicity after Botox treatment. What I'm sharing with you today, our team has waited for years to share publicly. If you only share one thing from the Never Talks page, let it be this. We knew something was wrong, now science has caught up. Before I share this study, I wanna be sure to let you know that the admin team and I have sat with this for months. We consulted, confirmed, and clarified this information to be absolutely certain that what we were reading was real, and it is concerning. So if anyone doubts this information, reach out, and we will walk you through it. Botox travels to the brain that is no longer debatable. It has been known that botulinum toxin A can travel past the peripheral nerves, the PNS system, and into the central nervous system, meaning your brain and your spinal cord. Once it is in the CNS system, its damage is profound. One unit of Botox contains 20 million molecules. Each one has the potential to enter your CNS and even a single molecule can do devastating damage. Why? Because it's enzymatic, meaning one molecule can cleave SNAP25 over and over again, silencing neuron after neuron. And here's the most terrifying part. We don't know how many neurons will be affected. We don't know how long it will last. We don't know when it will stop, and we don't know who is the most vulnerable. A groundbreaking study released last spring showed us alarming key findings. Can Botox trigger Alzheimer's or other CNS pathologies? This isn't fear mongering. This is peer reviewed science. And if you have ever wondered if Botox could contribute to neurodegenerative diseases, the answer is no longer unthinkable. Botox is marketed as a beauty and a cure all. But what if I told you that it's actually neurological warfare? This new research shows that Botulinum toxin A causes the same damage that we see in Alzheimer's and ALS. Please share this before it's taken down and before someone you love forces their future away.